So here's the code that is required to implement the stack using a linked list data structure. So these are the implementation of the four functions we talked about. And uh, we basically talked about the element uh, structure and the members that it contained, which is basically each, each element structure is a node in the linked list. Then we talked about the, uh, the prototypes, the push and pop functions and their arguments, their return values. And then finally, we stopped at the create stack and delete stack uh, function prototypes. And these are really easy to understand. All they require is two arguments. Uh, well, actually, each function requires an argument. And that's a pointer to a pointer to the head of the list. So uh, create stack actually requires this double pointer, requires the address to the pointer to the head of the list, because we need to modify. So the user will, will, what the user will do is create uh, this pointer. So that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to declare it, and then they're going to pass us the address to that pointer. So this ampersand uh, is used to get the address of that pointer. So basically, they're going to pass this to the create stack function, and the create stack function will use the address to the pointer to modify the pointer and make it point to null, like we'll see in a second. And delete stack actually just all it does is traverse the list and delete every single element. So delete all the memory that was allocated to the, uh, to the nodes uh, forming the stack. So the first function is the create stack. And uh, here's the implementation. It's very simple. So like we said, we're going we're gonna to pass it the, a pointer to the pointer to the head of the list, which is empty at the beginning, which, doesn't ha which isn't pointing to anything. And then what it's going to do, it's going to initialize it and take that pointer, dereference it. So now we're going to reach that pointer that we want to look at and make it point to null. Since the list is empty at the beginning, this will be the, the head of our list, essentially. So this is how to understand the create stack. Um, pushing uh, an element uh, works as follows. So we said we're going to give you the address to the pointer to the head of the list and the data that we want to push. We're not just going to give you the data, we're going to give you a pointer to the data. So this is what the user will do. They will create, for example, an integer i equal to 5, and they want to add this 5 to the stack. So what they're going to do is they're going to pass us the pointer to the stack, and they're going to uh, pass us also a pointer to this integer data. So this is how they'll pass us. They'll use the ampersand to get the address of i and pass it to us. And then what we're going to do first is um, create an element, use the malloc instruction to assign it just enough space so that it could accommodate an element or a data type of type element, which is our data structure, uh, and it could accommodate these two uh, members, which is the, the pointer and the data itself, or a pointer to the data, like we said. And if this uh, allocation fails, we'll get a null, and uh, this will return 1. So the user will have to check for 1. If he gets a 1 from the push, then they, re then they will understand that the uh, allocation has failed. And then the next step is, once we go through this, is to update the data and next, so the two members of this new element that we just created. The data, we want it to be reflecting whatever is being passed to us. So this data pointer, we want it to be exactly the same as whatever the address of what is being passed to us. That is this and I. And we want it to be pointing, this will be our new head of the list. So we want it to be pointing to the current head of the stack. We want our new element to point to this new current head of the stack. And the next step will be to update this stack. So we're going to dereference it since we have a pointer to a pointer to the head of the, uh, uh, the list. We're going to dereference the first pointer to get here, modify this, and bring it here. Make it point to element. And now we have our stack pointing to the head of the list. Um, pop works in about the same way. Um, so it also first takes declares an element, make it as, assign it the value of whatever stack is pointing to, so the head of the list. If the head of the list is null, that is, it's empty, return one, so it doesn't have anything that we could pop from. Otherwise, if it's not null, then um, you're going to be assigning uh, the next element. So element is now pointing to the head. The next element will become our new stack. So the stack is to be updated here. 